Hello, my beautiful YouTube friends. Letty here, living life with Letty. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new, I hope that you will um, enjoy it. And I hope that you will subscribe. In this video, first I'm gonna give you an update on what's happening with my shoes. I haven't gone yet. I've been pricing other uh, shoes and I have been trying to price, you know, to see what would be the best place to go. Um, and then uh, I was gonna go on Monday and it rained and I don't really like to drive in the rain and it's about 30 minutes away. And so then, um, you know, I was gonna go Tuesday and something came up and so I'm gonna try and see if I can make it there tomorrow um, and see what they have to offer me. Um, in this video, I am going to show you uh, how my backyard has gone completely out of whack. Uh, I, it's rained quite a few times. The weather is nice today. I was out in the sun. I was gonna do the video out in the sun, but it was a little too hot. So I'm in the patio right now and I'm gonna take you on a tour of my uh, backyard. Uh, a lot of the plants that I have, the bushes, I have a couple of rose bushes in the back here that are uh, pretty old and I haven't really been taking good care of it. So it has, you know, they, they're kind of just bushy and they're not doing so well. Um, I also have a plant that I want to share with you. I don't really know the name of it, but uh, a friend of mine got it for me about 10 years ago. It was just a little bitty plant that he got at Home Depot for like 99 cents. And so, you know, I planted it. It's been planted and replanted a couple of times. Uh, it has died a couple of times, but it keeps coming back. And the reason why I love that plant so much uh, is because my friend that got it for me passed away about five years ago of a heart attack. And he was only 60 years old when he passed away. And he was a very dear friend. Uh, you know, I loved him to death. He used to come and, you know, we would drink coffee and hang out. And um, he was a Cuban, Cuban, um, Chinese Cuban. You know, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I was born in Cuba. And, uh, and so uh, I met him, oh, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago or something like that. And uh, he told me he's Chinese, but he was born and raised in Cuba and uh, you know, speaks like a, a Cuban, but with a Chinese. <laughs> it's a, a, a lot of people, they're like, he's Chinese Cuban. I go, yeah, there were a lot of Chinese people in Cuba, believe it or not. I guess when the ships would come, the merchant ships would come, they would, uh, the, the Chinese or people from all over the world, not just Chinese, they would fall in love with the island like Hemingway and uh, they would stay in Cuba and then, you know, they would just stay and have families. And, and so that's uh, his story. But uh, I'm hoping that you will like the little tour of my backyard. It needs work, it needs a lot of work, but you know, I, I can't do it myself. And right now I have had way too many expenses, so I can't really afford somebody to come and do it. And I like it like that because I feel like I'm in the forest. I, I really don't want to get it too manicured because I really miss being out on the road. I feel like I'm a prisoner right now. I'm, you know, I don't wanna go anywhere. And um, so I'm really um, just waiting around to see what happens. And uh, maybe later I may, you know, I've, if I wait around uh, another couple of months, everything will dry out and then it'll be easier to, to clean it up and pick things. So come along with me and join me on my little tour of my backyard. So this is the hole that I uh, was telling you in the ceiling of the patio uh, where some of the shingles came undone and the water got in and it saturated the, uh, the, the whole roof part and the ceiling part. And so now I have a hole up there, but I am getting it fixed uh, very soon. And some of these are just plants that, uh, as you can see, they're pretty well overgrown. Um, some here, these are rose bushes that are just way, very bushy, and I haven't really been taking care of them. So, you know, they, they kind of gone wild. 
uh, a lot of these plants. I really don't know what they are. Uh, a friend of mine that used to live with me a long time ago planted uh, most of them. And uh, sometimes they die and they come back. These right there, they just keep dying and they come back. So, um, you know, it's the whole thing is wild. This one here, I don't know what it is, but it has totally grown crazy. It's very, very bushy. And, uh, you know, my flower beds are just overtaken with weeds. And, um, you know, I, I can't do it myself. So, but I do enjoy it. Like I said, I enjoy it being uh, wild the way it is. So this is the plant. I don't really know what the name of it is. This is the one that my friend got for me about 10 years ago. It was a little baby one. I think he had paid like 99 cents. And um, I have replanted it a couple of times in different places. Sometimes it dies and I get really sad, but then it always comes back. And so I really love this plant because it reminds me of my good friend uh, who passed away. And the rest is, you know, a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of weeds mostly, as you can see. Um, there's one way over there that is taking over. And these are rose bushes over here, but uh, you know, they have really like gotten out of hand and they need to be trimmed and I haven't really been taking good care of them. I don't really know what this is, but it, you know, it's like a, it, it every year it comes back. Sometimes it dies and it comes back. This is uh, what my little patio looks like from this end and way up in the ceiling. I don't know if you can tell, but that's where some of the shingles came loose and that's why the thing came apart, but it's gonna get fixed very soon, hopefully. So this is my backyard. This is the back of my house. My house is very little. Uh, I bought it, oh, 16, 17 years ago. And uh, it's a small house. And I didn't pay very much for it at that time. So, I, you know, a lot of people ask me, are you gonna sell your house? and uh, go full time, but I really don't want to because, you know, it's not a very big house or anything, but hey, it's, it's a house and it's nice to know that I have a house to come home to when the road gets a little hard for me. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I was out there just now for like two minutes taking uh, the video of the plants and I am just perspiring like crazy. The weather here in Austin is so humid. It's hot, but it's humid and it's muggy and it was and actually today there's a breeze. It's not as bad as other days, but it's just, you know, you're out there for two minutes and you're already perspiring where, you know, I loved it in Arizona because it's not humid and you're not constantly, you know, sweating all the time. It's kind of nasty. But what are you gonna do? Well, I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my backyard, my little backyard, my backyard that has gone crazy. And uh, I feel like I'm in the forest when I'm back here. And I hope that you will you know, join me again. I really appreciate again from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. And I appreciate uh, everyone for uh, supporting me and watching my videos. I, I'm, I'm just, in gratitude totally in gratitude and uh so thank you again i love you all and don't forget may the sun shine on you today and every day especially on your solar panels stay friend stay safe my friends love you bye bye